Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so my name is Alex and I'm a PhD student here at the University of Sheffield. Um, so I was taking notes on the session on practices, processes and politics of city academic partnerships and it was actually facilitated by a conversational method called the fishbowl which engaged different participants to share their knowledge and experience as both observer and participants. So it was quite interesting and gave representations from across the platforms. Um, some of the common threads that I picked up that were discussed was the tension between practice and identity. So positionality um, of a place of activism and advocacy versus the prof professionalization and bureaucracy that might be demanded by different institutions and interpersonal re relationships within and across those institutions as well the ever-present politics within partnerships and the constant negotiation of interests and sacrifices, but also paying heed and light to the common ground um, that can build capacity of government and civil society of, act, uh, of actors, as well as benefit um, academics and their research interests. Um, so co-production on that being seen as also an intellectual resource um, for different parties. The main top takeaways that I had was that the process itself takes time to set up and negotiate. It's a pra um, practical usefulness of memorandum of understandings can be very helpful. Um, they're not you know, a fix all, but that they can also um, help in revisiting over time and the life cycle as people and their p politics alter. Um, and the space can be very useful for managing expectations and possibilities of researchers, academics, as well as um, other political activ activists um, and civil society. So within that, if doors do shut, it was made uh, quite good comments that different entry points are possible and windows of opportunities and the importance of engaging gatekeepers um, and actors that are representative of different sectors as well. And the critical questions that I took away was to ask why we engage and how the tensions may impact on our ethics and what outputs might be possible as a result and where they might not be possible because of the sticky situation of politics, where other routes less taken might, might be opened up and enabling other people to do so. Um, so and the other question that I thought might be important to be thinking about was, um, how do you reduce the personal professional costs that might happen and what might be necessary to mitigate this and how can that be found across the academic environment and institutions as well? Okay, thank you. Yeah.